we proceed? Uh, but I thought this door was... ...sealed so that none may enter. Why, yes. And by my own hand, no less. However, you've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself and become a Watcher of the Veil, vale, that is. I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. And off we go. Now we follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. Anything about his parents yet? No. Nope. They were watchers, both of them. But they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him? Why would I? I see. <laughs> From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial and his observer. Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. Oh, <laughs> that would render the trial meaningless. But if not him... Ah, you do nicely. Me? Him? Really? At least pretend not to hate me. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Ready. You gonna watch my back? Yep. Burning holes in you right now. <laughs> what is this? This is a place of deep sorrow. A place where those who have been sealed away are left to mourn their fates. Walls should be well within your power to climb.
This place has given me the creeps. Your discomfort is only natural. A fierce battle was waged here. And even after 45 years, the scars remain fresh. What? You're saying the game managed to make it all the way up here? <laughs> okay, somebody fill me in. Who are the Gi? The tribe knows a very few people outside of the Vega. The rest you will learn in due time. Of that you can be certain. For now, let us proceed. Hey, where'd you run off to? I only got two legs here, you know.
Hey, where'd you run off to? Only got two legs here, you know. Circumstances, I would stress that you uh, mustn't judge a book by its cover. For the Gi, however, they are as fearsome as their appearance implies. These are the things that killed my mom? Nanaki, this shall be your first trial. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, will do. with a poison that rapidly circulates through the body, slowing the wounded until they are completely turned to stone. Ah, 
Ah, yes. An armament of the Fae. The carvings on its hilt should look familiar. Indeed, you'll find the very same markings on your own body. Even in death, their lingering enmity manifests as such. They who wander in search of retribution. That's kind of pathetic. Do not be so quick to denigrate your enemies, nor make light of their plight. Consider this statue. It has been placed in this chamber for a reason. Handle it with the utmost care. I will. Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Interesting, cause my first thought was, are we gonna make it out of this place alive? <laughs> its decor is indeed the opposite of inviting. These look like the statue I picked up. If there is a reason for everything, then one could argue that everything has no reason. Only 
everybody loves you. Is that it? <laughs> Not in the least. came to these lands many millennia ago. This sanctuary is proof of their persistence, for it was built to ensure that they never escaped. But if they were sealed away thousands of years ago, how'd they break out and attack the Vale? That I cannot answer. Only the key themselves could. But enough about them. You are here to learn about yourself, Naraki. This cave serves as a boundary between our world and that of the Gi. It was vital to them and their plans. Were the Gi to seize control of it, the Kangen would be doomed. And the people. When the Gi moved against us yet again, a certain Watcher recalled this vulnerability. Huh? Since time was of the essence, 
he entered the cave without reinforcements. As he had feared, it was teeming with Gi, ready to descend upon the village. Determined to protect the Vale, he pounced from one foe to the next, felling all who dared oppose him. Hold on. If there was a Watcher who single-handedly saved the canyon, how come I've never heard of them? <laughs> For now, you should focus on your own struggles with the Gi. Their malice grows more potent.
is not set in stone, as beautiful as the winds. But for now, Anarchy, let us concentrate on the matter at hand, clearing the path to the truth.
way here alone, and in his bravery took upon himself the burden of our home. about an axe to grind. Why the hell is this thing pissed at us?
One hell of a life, Joe!
You've become quite the formidable fighter. <laughs> sure have. So, does this mean I passed the test? Oh, oh. I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone to make. <sighs> Let us consult with one more qualified. The Watcher of the Veil vale fought valiantly, and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us to this very day. Wait... is that... Seto? My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone. And there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal. Our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? <laughs> Why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to see her off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki, their son. She was afraid. Because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps. But not anymore. Heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> It's not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the Veil once more. But I'm a Watcher now. I gotta protect our home like he did. Listen to me, Lama Ki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, start to believe you've seen it all, but no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki, before, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Look after him for me. Don't worry, we will. You failed this trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all... I am Nanaki. Watcher of Cosmo Canyon. And son of Seto, protector of our veil.
hearken unto me. My name is Guy Natak. O oh, brave and noble Seto, I beseech you once more. Hear the urgent pleas of my people. My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. The warrior Nanaki. And you, the Setra. Come with me. That was... Oh, oh, oh. An exciting turn of events indeed. We'll back you up for two thousand. Uh. No. This one's free. Ugh. Can anyone explain to me why we're even taking this detour? Anyone? Because some of us are on a mission to secure the material we need to, you know, save our homeland. How can you talk like that in a place like this? I'm scared of the wet here. I don't know. This ski dude's too nice to freak me out. He may act nice, but who knows what he's planning. Stay alert. The home of the Gi lies beyond. Now let us begin our journey. Not so fast. What's in it for us? Unless it's Materia, you can count me out. How strange you should mention Materia. My people are also in search of it. <laughs> okay, all aboard! <laughs> Would have stayed longer if I could, but I'll be back soon. Try swaying with the rocking of the boat? I want to move less, not more. <laughs> Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. Well, only because he mentioned materia. Be quiet. The planet is listening. And what's wrong with that? Anything that reaches the planet's ears, in due time, reaches those of the Cetra. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. <laughs> you are indeed one of them, by lineage alone. You know not of their history. That has been lost to time. Their history? Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow. 